The deck has been completely framed and the decking material is installed. The roof is completely finished. Now all we have to do is add a few columns to support the roof. Right, and the architect actually specced seven eight-inch round columns across the front porch. Right, now we could have used wood, but we're using something new. This is a fiberglass reinforced polymer, and it's actually rotationally formed, and it's supposed to be very strong. Right, these are actual structural columns rated for 10,000 pounds. They also come to us right from the factory, very smooth, so all the painter has to do is paint them. Right, and there's no wood here at all, even on these accessory pieces, so the insects aren't going to eat it, and it's not going to rot. Not going to rot. Is this one ready to install? Almost. I marked for their height. Next thing I have to do is locate where they go. To locate the position of the column, I'm going to use a plumb bob. I can't use a level because the column is tapered. Now I've positioned the center point up top on the beam, and at the bottom, my plumb bob locates the center of the column down there. So what I did is I found the center of my column on the deck. I've set my compass, the radius of the column, and I swung a circle to locate the outside of my column on the base. Now I know the location of the base of the column. Now I need to get a straight line all the way around the column. The best way to do that is take a piece of lightweight cardboard and cut a straight line in it. I position the edge of the cardboard on my line. I bring the cardboard up and make the edges even, and that gives me a straight line. Right. This is actually the most accurate way to make a line that's perfectly square to the center line of the column. Right. Now all I need to do is trace the edge of the paper like this all the way around. Okay, so now we have a line all the way around the column. Now, it's going to be pretty dusty, so I'm going to use my mask and some safety glasses. All right, now to cut the column, we're actually going to use a grinder with a carborundum blade. And to collect some of the dust, we're going to follow it with a vacuum. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. The manufacturer supplies two L brackets that are bolted to the bottom of the column. But we have to pre-drill for a hole. Mm -hmm. Later, we'll screw them to the deck. Take it out of there so I don't hit you. This tough stuff. So right now, the roof is being held up by these temporary columns. Right, so what I'm going to do is I've got a jack and a post right here. We'll take the weight off the temporary columns, and then we can put the post in. All right, now the weight's up. You should be able to pull that right out. They also supply a bracket that will receive the column at the top. You ready now? All right. Okay. Take my hand. I'll push it up into the bracket at the top. Okay. Let's bring it over. Right on the line. Okay, good. Now I'll just pre-drill a couple of holes. This base piece simply slides down to finish off the bottom of the column. Now we just push the capital up like that, and we'll cock around this edge, and we're done at the top. Okay. All right, I'll let this jack down. Okay. All right. 
Well, the weight is now on the columns. There you go. And it's a nice finishing touch. Yeah, they look good. Three more to go. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.